Welcome all Berman watch fans. This is 7-Eleven. I'm here today with celebrated wit and alleged humorist, James Thurber. Welcome to all Berman watch, James. Thank you 7. Great to be on with all of Keats fans. UHH, James. You misunderstand. There are few fans of Keats on this site. Really? I just thought there was a resonance in my work due to Mr. Olberman reading it every Friday. No, a lot of people think your work sucks. What few fans you did have in this generation have soured on you due to Keats' reading of your work. I see. In fact, Mr. Thurber. I find your work pompous, egotistical and self-important. And no longer relevant to today's society. In short, your work sucks. Excuse me? It sucks more than a vacuum cleaner salesman convention with nothing but shag carpet. Like a thousand black holes. Writing so dense, not even common sense escapes. Wow, you must like comedy like Jeff Foxworthy, Ron White and other blue collar types? Yes, unlike you. They have made me laugh. You are a pig. Do you want to rub my back with lotion? What do you think this is? A red eye robot theater clip? No, I will not rub your back with lotion. Then and on of this crap. I'm off to find Theo, he'll rub lotion on my back. I hope you have fun watching blue collar comedy. Thank you, Mr. Thurber. This has been a waste of time. Never got to ask you what you think of Fridays with Thurber. I think it's a little creepy to have John Wayne Gacy read my work. It isn't Gacy. It's Keith Olbermann. Really? It looked like a clown to me. Son of a bitch. And on that note, this is your old pal 7-Eleven saying, this is your old pal 7-Eleven saying. Adios. And stay tuned to allbermanwatch.com for my worst person abstract. Good night and courage.